Today we review Four Rooms, the anthology comedy film from 1995. It's rated R. On IMDb it has a 6.7 rating. It is four stories that are all happening in a hotel that is on its last legs, all occurring on New Year's Eve. They're strung together by uh, Ted the Bellhop, who is involved in all four of the stories. Each portion of the film is directed and written by a separate person. The first portion is uh, occurring in the honeymoon suite. It's called The Missing Ingredient. That is written by and directed by Allison Andrews. In the honeymoon suite 40 years ago, there was a witch or a goddess that had been turned to stone on her uh, wedding night, it appeared. And there's uh, this coven of witches that come to get her out of the stone. They need ingredients for their ritual. The, one of them, though, is missing because one of the witches uh, swallowed it. So they call up Ted the Bellhop to uh, get the ingredient that is missing. The second story is uh, occurring in room 404. It's entitled The Wrong Man. It's written by Alexandra Rockwell. And so Ted gets a call in for room 404 that they need ice. When Ted gets there, he uh, is actually held at gunpoint. And the husband is suspecting the wife of cheating with a guy named Theodore. The uh, Bellhop's name is Ted, and I guess his full name is Theodore. However, we find out that he's the wrong man, and uh, at the end it shows the room number, and it shows 4-0. The last number's been knocked off, and it may have been a nine. The third segment of this is written and directed by Robert Rodriguez. It has Antonio Banderas in it, and he and his wife want to go have a good time on New Year's Eve. They leave and go to a party, but they have two children. Banderas just says we can leave them with the TV, but the wife isn't really having that, of course. So they pay Ted the Bellhop, played by Tim Roth, they pay him $500, they try to barter $300, $500, but it ends up being $500 to watch the children, it, throughout which the night it goes rather <laughs> terrible. It's my second favorite part of the film. So Ted's kind of had enough. He calls up his boss, played by Kathy Griffin, actually. I didn't realize it was her. So Ted calls up his boss and says he's had enough and he's going home. But during this call, the penthouse is calling down to the front desk. Because it's the penthouse and it's a Hollywood uh, director-producer, Kathy Griffin says to keep him happy. That director is played by uh, Quentin Tarantino, and it is the fourth portion of this. It's called The Man from Hollywood. It happens in the penthouse, written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. And I actually enjoy Quentin Tarantino's performance in this. Uh, I don't enjoy his other ones as much, but this one is actually quite enjoyable. So in the fourth short story of the anthology, they have a bet going. Chester, played by Quentin Tarantino, and Norman have a bet going that he can Norman can light his lighter ten times in a row without it going out. If so, then Norman will get Chester's uh, classic car. And if Norman loses it, then he will lose his pinky. Norman, his first time, lost his pinky. It was cut off by Ted. Ted was paid, it looked like $1,000 to do it. In that last scene, Bruce Willis makes an appearance. He's uncredited in this film because he worked as a favor to Tarantino for free, which is against Screen Actor Guild guidelines, I guess, so he couldn't be credited for it for fear of sewage, for fear of being sued. The movie overall does have its uh, peaks and its lows. The first story with the coven of witches that want to get their goddess back has Madonna featured. There's some boobs. I'd still say that's the low point of this film. From there, it does build. The second one, The Wrong Man, is my third favorite. Uh, rather good. It is held together by solid acting from the wife and the husband and Tim Roth as the bellhop Ted. He does a very good job through all four of them. It's still the, the third favorite of mine. So that was the eighth Today We Review. It was Four Rooms from 1995, and it is a delete. It is a good film. I'd recommend to watch it once, but then you can delete it or get rid of it. So rent it if you find it. If you want to suggest future films to watch, you can reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. I'll put it in the description. You can also use hashtag today we review. I will search using that to locate them. Feel free to leave suggestions for future movies 
or I do sometimes uh, list the ones that I'm looking at for the next ones and you can tell me which one to view or not view. Thank you for watching. I'm currently reading Dr. Sleep, uh, Stephen King's sequel to The Shining, and I did watch recently The Shining, and I do want to talk about the Stanley Kubrick adaptation compared to the book. I've also just recently obtained the Stephen King uh, miniseries, The Shining, the three episode 90 minute. So I think I'm going to go with uh, comparing the Stanley Kubrick adaptation to the Stephen King miniseries to The Shining written by Stephen King. The Shining book is extremely different from the Stanley Kubrick uh, movie that was made. Still a good movie, but very different from the book.